Welcome, I'm Scott Patton and I'm here to talk to you about online video courses and a couple things to really consider when you're looking at doing online video. And the first thing is, is because you're actually hearing the instructor, because your students are actually seeing you, there's a lot more connection that occurs on a subconscious and conscious level than if you're just giving them a book to read or a free uh, ebook or a report or any of those other things. Basically, we're engaging the eyes, we're engaging the ears, we're, we can be even, uh, you know, talking about how the sun feels so nice here in Greece on my skin, engaging the feelings. But I want you to really think about why it is that you want to do a course because that's crucial to your success. It has to be more than just the money. Of course, the money is important. Uh, when it comes to platforms like Udemy, Skillshare, uh, Amazon, Video Direct, they tend to be low priced. So the result, of course, is, is that you need lots of students and or viewers in order to make it work. So if you're thinking about putting your course up for $300 and driving 10,000 people to it, I have some bad news for you. That's not the way these things work. And so what I want you to be thinking about is what is your back end? Like what if these were tremendous lead generators? And it depended upon your ability to upsell, but that's a lot easier to do after someone has been um, listening to you for an hour or two hours, right? They know you, they like you, they understand what you're all about, they're having a good time, uh, they're learning, they're growing, all those sort of good things. So uh, if you look at Udemy as a lead generation, as opposed to uh, a source of income in and of itself, then you're gonna be finding yourself far less frustrated with the whole process. And that's the uh, plan that I've used and I have to tell you that with uh, a number of my uh, co-instructors where we have followed this plan and implemented it, uh, we've had tremendous success. So Udemy, what makes it different than uh, maybe Skillshare or Teachable and some of the other platforms is they actually do a lot of marketing. They uh, set up affiliates, they set up ad campaigns, they drive a ton of traffic to their site. And the result, of course, is, is that you get that extra group. So if you are just starting out, you don't have an email list, you don't have a large following, great, Udemy will bring that to you. If you do, then what I recommend is using Udemy as another source. What people will tell you is to create a funnel, you need to give away a video, give away an ebook, give away a free report, uh, a, an online email course, that sort of thing, and uh, give it away for free. So we're going to be implementing part of that with Udemy, but we're also going to be having the other aspect of it, which is you can upsell your courses to other to students in Udemy. Uh, if you do a series of courses, Udemy will be selling. So instead of going and driving traffic to your opt-in page by using AdWords or Facebook ads and uh, paying them a dollar or ten dollars for a click that's not even someone who actually signed up uh, Udemy is going to be paying you a dollar five dollars ten dollars twenty dollars for those clicks uh, which is just a great way to, to do it and that's what really makes me excited they have 12 million students they've been around for a number of years they have 20,000 instructors they're established they know how to drive traffic they started out with, I think, predominantly YouTube, marketing, social media, programming. And so areas that are underserved a lot, like relationships, weight loss, personal development, uh, business courses, uh, you know, what happens when they catch up to the programming courses, which I think is definitely going to be happening. It just gives a great opportunity for us uh, now. So what I want you to be considering is two things. The first thing is a series of courses that are a minute and so a minute, 60 minutes to 90 minutes long. And of course, the first 15 minutes could be introductory stuff. The last 15 minutes can be conclusions and your pitch. Go to my other courses, go take my webinar, go to my site, get my free ebook, sign up, 
go to our Facebook group, all those sorts of things. So we're basically looking at an hour of content on one aspect of what it is that you do. So, uh, you know, let, let's look at uh, fitness as an example, right? I mean, there are a gazillion ways to break that down. Fitness for, uh, you know, losing weight. Fitness for being in a, a show, like a competition. Fitness for uh, just, you know, your health in general, for your heart health, for your, you know, fitness for your legs, fitness for women, fitness for men, fitness for old women, fitness for old men, fitness for couples, fitness for guys going through divorce and now are back in the dating game. I mean, it just, it just goes on and on and on. So obviously, if you're an expert in fitness, you could talk on any of these topics easily for an hour and not even scratch the surface. And that's the point. The point is, is that you want to show that you are an expert in your field, you know what you're talking about, and if you want to get the really, really juicy stuff, let me coach you. Join my group coaching. Get into my mastermind. Uh, get my book. Get my $300 course. Go to Greece with me and, and uh, you know, we'll climb up these things and, and you'll lose 10 pounds. Like, whatever it happens to be. And I'm just using fitness as an example because it's one of the big ones, right? Weight loss, relationships. The business aspects, those are all pretty popular topics and they're evergreen topics. They will always be popular. Yoga, you know, yoga for men, yoga for women, yoga for old men. I mean, it just goes on and on and on, all the different demographics, right? And each of these then brings in a series of students, okay? So that's one way of doing it is saying, okay, we're going to go and spread a net or we're going to be casting a line here and casting a line there, okay? The other way is level one, level two, level three. Okay, you've taken my fitness level course for abs. Now we're gonna do the fitness level for, for uh, you know, biceps or for legs or for uh, the back. Or, or we're gonna be doing it, uh, you've taken my yoga lesson, you know, level one, and now we're gonna go into it deeper and we're gonna focus on the breath only in this level two course. So what I want you to be thinking about is how can I sort of spread the net wide, but then also how can I go deeper? Okay, so you get these people in, and then all of a sudden you're sort of cross-promoting all of your courses, creating a lot of activity. And of course, what that happens, then, then you need to be thinking about, well, what is my final result? It may be that, but I don't recommend it. The final result should be coaching with me one-on-one, -on -one, coming to my courses, my live courses, getting my book, getting into my website, getting off Udemy in some fashion, okay? Because there are lots of, you know, Udemy has lots of rules. They own the platform. So if they make a change and you don't like it, you're hooped unless you start moving these people off. And that's one of the things that we talk about and, and discuss a lot as we're putting together the course. Now I have a PDF and it basically is, uh, you know, copy it into Word, fill it out, take no more than 20 minutes. This is not a detailed thing. This is a 10,000 foot overview so that I can see exactly what it is that you want to accomplish in a, in a more specific way, right? So you're answering a bunch of questions, you're putting together a curriculum. I've put together over a hundred curriculums in the last couple of years. Uh, I'm at that point with Udemy that I can pretty much tell if they're going to approve the course or not approve the course in terms of quality. So, and I know what they want in terms of a course. So I will then guide you if needed in the directions that, they, that are required so that your course is going to be a successful course on Udemy. And that's really, really crucial. The time that it's going to take you to do the course is three hours, 20 minutes for filling out the form, the PDF that I'm sending you and about two and a half hours of recording time to get about 90 minutes of recording. We also want to do a, about a two minute promo video as well. And of course in there is going to be us going back and forth discussing different things. You may send me the document back and I may say, you know what, it looks to me like there's three courses in here and that's happened before and we split it into three courses. Now here's the thing, once we've got the course set up in Udemy, then we set up a time for recording and it may be we record over Skype or Google Hangouts. It may be you've got a really good camera and microphone set up and we just, I Skype in and we just, I talk you through it. Basically, I'm kind of like the producer or the director. I may also be the co-host and it all just kind of depends on how we want to do the course, right? You may have a back-end course that you want to sell for $300 or $1,000. 
and that's all you, you, you. And so maybe what we want to do is differentiate between the two. So you and I are talking back and forth about whatever the topic is. Usually you have no problem asking Claire. I spent uh, 12 years or 15 years almost doing podcast interviews. So I'm very good at clarifying and throwing in stories and, and, uh, and leading the conversation in the direction that we want it to go. So there are kind of those options that you've got. Uh, and, and most of the stuff that we do is kind of talking head. I find that uh, you really want to make a connection with your students and you really want to, uh, you know, be up front and everything else unless you've got, you know, horrible disfigurements or something like that, which has happened. A very successful instructor doesn't go on simply because she's had some problems and she doesn't want to be distracting. It may also be that your, your particular course is uh, more of a technical one and you want to show click this, click this, click that and do screen shares, that's wonderful as well. But we take that 90, we take that 90 minutes of recording, I send it to my video editor, she edits it up, she uploads it, I put all the content in. Um, I've been copywriting for over 10 years so I know how to put text in that uh, grabs people and gets them interested or intrigued or curious. And then you review it because we all make mistakes, we're all human. And uh, we did a course on golfing and my video editor thought every time Joan said putting that she said pinging. So there was pinging going across the screen every time she said putting and that, and that it was kind of, we laughed about that and got it changed and everything else. So, you know, we don't expect perfection but we do want to make it as good as we can make it. And so basically you're looking at 20 minutes of design work of the course, a couple of hours or so of putting the course together. Now that should result in a fairly good 90 minute course. It's not going to be the world's best course, obviously in 90 minutes, how much can you really teach? Uh, but we do 10 of those and now you've got 15 hours of content spread over 10 courses and you've done that over a year, you're going to be pretty dominant in your category on Udemy and probably in your category in the world. I have almost 10,000 students of my podcast Made Easy course and I have 10 other courses with between two and 5,000 students in them. So I can quite honestly say nobody's ever taught as many people how to podcast as I have. And it's not me saying it, there's the facts on Udemy, go check for yourself, right? So it catapults your credibility right up there when you have these courses and you've got two or 3,000 students in them. And then if you multiply that by five or six courses over the course of a year, now you, you're talking about a substantial number of people. And that opens doors like, could you speak on my stage, please? You know, I've got this event. I would really like you to speak. Can you be on my podcast? Can you be a guest on uh, a series of webinars that I'm doing or a summit that I'm doing and all these sort of things? Can you be part of my book? Can I interview you for my book? Uh, it just goes on and on and on. The doors start opening. When you take massive action, massive results occur and who knows what those results will be. Hopefully it'll be money, fame and fortune and, uh, and we'll all be really happy. But the reason that we only want to do an hour and a half course is what if it's a flop? It was two hours, three hours of your life. You know, a few hundred bucks for the video editor. It's not a big deal. The thing that breaks my heart is when I'm listening to other Udemy instructors and they say, you know what, I did a 10 hour course, it took me six months, 12 hour days, I got three students and one of them is my mom and the other is my brother and I got one five, you know, one three star review. Like that's really hard to take, right? So what we want to do is kind of like the spaghetti on the wall thing. We got this bowl of spaghetti, we throw it up on the wall, see what sticks. We do all these different courses. You know, we do one a, one a month, one every two months, no big deal. And then we say, wow, this course does really well, that course does really well, this course does really well. You're learning how uh, your students are reacting to your courses and the questions that they're asking and what's going on. You're growing, you're getting better at making the courses. If they're better, they're faster. I'll tell you right now, the first course you make and the one you make a year from now, world of difference because your experience is so much better, your practice is so much better, your, your personal speaking ability is so much better because you've been practicing and you've been focused practice with somebody who really knows that's me, what they're doing. And I'm going to make you a better and better speaker every time because I'm going to be giving you feedback. 
and you, you're going to be seeing your videos and you're going to be getting your own feedback. And it's the best personal development I think you can do in the world because you see yourself, you see your warts, you see the things you're doing wrong, and once you're aware of them, you start changing them. But that's a, kind of a side benefit. What we really want to do is position you as the world's best, most popular, most credible expert in your field. And the way you do it is you fill out this form, take 20 minutes, don't take any longer, get it back to me. I set up the course, we set a time to record, we record, the video editor edits the recordings, puts it up, you review it, and you're done. Simple, easy peasy, you don't have to worry about all the technical stuff. We do have to go over how, how good your audio is and how good your video is. Because those are two, the two main problems that people have is this quality of the sound is poor or the quality of the video is poor. So, uh, but that's an individual thing where we need to sort of see what your setup is and, uh, and kind of go from there. So hopefully that's given you a good overview of what we want to do and how we want to do it. And hopefully you've enjoyed the beautiful scenery in Greece here behind me as I've spoken. And we'll talk to you soon. Thanks.